Okay. Okay. I think I'm live. I think I'm live. Hi. <laughs> Wait, that's like too close. Hang on, everybody. I didn't get a preview here. I don't even know if anybody's in the chat yet. Hi, I'm Michelle from Unicorn and Centaur, and welcome to the weekly live stream. Um, so I will take a few minutes to da 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 da, da, da while um, people are coming into the chat. Since I still have not figured out to uh, make a link beforehand, we just sort of went live now. So um, we'll just we'll just see who's here. So oh, let me get in the chat. It's the crafting live stream of this week, and um, I don't know how the acoustics are in here. I'm in my kitchen because we need the oven for today's craft. Brittany's here. Hey, oh my gosh, Brittany, I forgot to tag you in the Facebook post today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, Hi, Loki. Loki's down at my feet. He's saying hi. So let me get into the chat and see who's here. It's only 10.01, so let's let people come on in here. One person watching. I think that's you, Brittany. Hi. <laughs> One person watching. I think that's you, Brittany. Hi. <laughs> okay. So I have got my live chat, and tonight I'm drinking out of my um, Cheval Noir uh, wine glass. Whereas everyone, I don't know. See, I can't, I'm having a hard time promoting the live streams beforehand um, since uh, they've not, they're not doing Google Hangouts on air anymore. So I have to figure out a different way to go live. The last three times this is the third. Oh my gosh, this holds an entire. This holds an entire diet, Dr. Pepper. I had no idea that was that big. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, so. Hang on, here's my <clears throat> my Diet Dutch Pepper and my wine glass. If you are watching this on the playback and you are not watching on this watching this live, this is a live stream. This is not an edited video, and we're sorry we missed you in the chat. But you can comment below if at any point you want to say something, um, and it may take me a day or so to answer you back. I don't know, but. What we are doing tonight is shrinky dinks. I don't know if anybody made these when these were, when you were little. Um, I made one of these today. So it's like this little flower. I don't know if you can see it's uh, plastic and I made it out of, there's a little hole in the top that I've done. So what you need for your craft today, I'm not gonna make unicorn horns or, or flowers. I'm gonna make unicorn horns. I'm sorry y'all, it has been a long day. <laughs> And I'm, I'm not, I have not been even drinking wine. I'm on Diet Dutch Pepper tonight. So here's how all this started. I'm making these bookmarks with a unicorn tail and a unicorn horn. The problem is I can't find, um, oh, Evie's here. Hey, um, I've been looking for charms that look like unicorn horns. And I've tried like seashells, you know, because there's like spiral seashells or Christmas ornaments that are supposed to look like icicles, um, or just unicorn horns, and I can't find, hang on, what am I doing? Um, oh, you rode today, Brittany, nice. I didn't get a nap today, maybe that's my problem. I did not get my nap today, but my brain is all blah, 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 blah. So I've been looking for charms. That doesn't look like a unicorn horn, and I'm really not happy with it. So the idea is, here's the unicorn horn, and here's the unicorn tail, and then this lays in your book, and that's a bookmark. <clears throat> so, um, since I have been unable to find unicorn horn charms like I want, I'm going to make them. And I may do another live stream. The next crafting live stream might be making unicorn horn charms out of Sculpey or, you know, um, polymer clay. I think that's what it's called. Uh, Scott, I may have my husband Scott join me for that live stream because he uses Sculpey and Liam maybe, um, because they use Sculpey a lot and I am not very familiar with it. You need a mocha frap. <laughs> Well, I've got my Diet Dr. Pepper in my Cheval Noir Designs hand painted by Adriana painted this for me. I love her. Okay, so so I want to see if I can make one of so the other idea besides the um, uh, the other idea besides the uh, Sculpey horns I had was doing like shrinky dinks, little plastic charms that you can make in your oven. Right now, we're in my, that's why we're in my kitchen. My oven is right here, uh, right over here, and it is being heated to 325 degrees. I looked up a bunch of YouTube tutorials on this, and um, it's really easy. It takes like seconds in the oven. I'm hoping I can take the computer with the webcam and put it down in front of the oven. My oven is dirty though, y'all don't judge me. So I'm hoping you can see it because it like curls up and it just takes a few seconds and it looks really cool. 
Evie. Evie, idea. Mocha frat. What is your idea, Evie? Give it to me, girl. So let me show you what I'm making my charms out of. So, this is parchment paper like you can get at the, uh, you can get it at Walmart, dollar store, grocery store, wherever. And I am laying it in just a little silver baking pan. And that's what we're going to put the uh, plastic charms on and stick them in the oven. Excuse me. So I went and all the DIY videos that I found online are all about taking like, you know, get a used container, the one you get cookies in or a salad in or whatever, and just wash that and rinse it out and use it. But I am not just about to buy a bunch of food just so I can have the containers. I was not that patient. So I found these at Target, which were the lids to these. So these are like baking dishes with the plastic. So it's like a craft. Here's what you bake it in the oven in, and then here's the thing <laughs> that you make it out of. So it shrinks up a lot in... Um, the oven, the original flour that I made was about this big around. It was, it was this big and then it shrunk down to that. So we are going to, I want to make, first of all, I want to do a unicorn one and I want to do a couple of different size and style horns, um, to see if I can very easily make one that looks cute sewn into the end of a unicorn bookmark. Anyway. This is my ultimate goal. I have a method to my mouth, so you guys are um, So the, all the tutorials I watched, they were tracing. Like I suppose you could sit here and sketch with the permanent markers onto the plastic, but they were um, tracing a lot. So I may trace um, this little unicorn that I have drawn. This may be a little bit big to do a shrink eating. I don't know, maybe we'll have a, um, maybe I'll try to draw one a little bit smaller. I don't know. So, oh, I also have my permanent markers. I have a whole bag of permanent markers here that Liam let me borrow. Thank you, Liam. Um, a whole bag of permanent markers, all different colors. You need the permanent ink on the plastic. You also need scissors to cut out your charm, whatever you're doing. And you need a hole puncher to punch a little hole in it if you want to have it uh, to where you can put it on jewelry or you can make like backpack charms. Or these are actually it the coloring in the drawing is really fun and it takes seconds in the mic uh, the microwave it takes seconds in the oven to do it so honestly it warped a little it was not that when I drew it but my oven y'all when you get to see my oven please don't judge me my oven is like old and cheap and kind of falling apart so there's like a hot spot in it and this was like obviously kind of off center of the hot spot anyway <laughs> do a unicorn cake live stream you mean like making a unicorn cake or eating a unicorn cake because I mean in another month or two I'm gonna get to a thousand subscribers if I keep growing like I am and if you're new hi thank you for being here um, I was thinking, like, what do we do for a thousand subscribers? What do we want to see? Do we do a special live stream where we make and eat unicorn cupcakes or something like that? I don't know. But anyway, all the dang Starbucks are either closing soon or closed. Oh, no, Evie, that sounds really terrible. Watching new The Orders. I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen that, Britt. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I might trace this puppy right here. And if I'm going to do that, I want to bring the camera in closer so you can see what I am doing. So, actually, first let me draw a unicorn horn and see if I can just do the unicorn horn thing. No, throw a giant party and invite all your friends. Oh, my God, that sounds terrifying. No, this is why I do live streams on YouTube so I can have friends online. Like, I would have to, I would have to people for a long time. Oh, I used to like parties when I was younger. The older I get, the more I'm like a crazy old cat lady. I just want to be alone and knit and make things all day. I want to interact with other humans, but I don't know. Not all at my house at the same time. Evie, you're a little extrovert, aren't you? You ate too many jars of spicy peppers, Brittany. Oh, no. All right, I am going to trace this thing. No, I decided on a unicorn horn, didn't I? Ugh, you guys. Okay. Here's my sketch bag. Let's just take a piece of paper out of here. 
and I am going to bring you in closer. Hi, everybody. Look at what we've got here. So I have pencils. Da, 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 da. So this is not as much me, but what I'm doing. I wish I had like a, mm, where's a, do I have a way? I wonder if I could just like put this underneath it and we can watch me sketch it. Maybe, maybe does this work? Can you even see the pencil lines from there though? I wonder how big it has to be. Okay, to make a small-ish charm, I bet it's gonna have to have these kind of borders and then I wanna be able to punch that hole in the end of it. I feel like I wanna, I feel like I wanna draw it this way. So here's where the hole's gonna be for the charm. So kind of, this is just a sketch. Oh my gosh, this looks kind of cray cray. I wonder if I should put ears and like a forelock on it. Otherwise it looks kind of like a seashell. Hang on. All right, you guys. Okay, can we see that? All right. Okay, so that will shrink down and hopefully be a unicorn horn. Now, I don't know if I would need to maybe add, you know, I, you know how they do like the ears like this to do on the unicorn horn off each side and then do uh, some hair? I don't know if I want to do that or leave it like that. I guess I could do both. I wonder if I could do both. Okay, let me try another one. Let me try another one. So, oh, Deanne is here. Hey, fashionably late. That's okay. Um, let's see. Hang on. Deanna, here is an example of the bookmarks that I am making. I had an idea for a unicorn bookmark, one that lays like, you know, the ribbon bookmarks, except it's just a knitted little cord. We knitted these like in the last live stream, right? But I, if you remember, I was unhappy with this being the unicorn horn because it doesn't look like a unicorn horn and it makes me angry. So I couldn't find the unicorn horn charms that I wanted. So I am attempting to make Shrinky Dinks which y'all, I grew up in the 80s, so I remember Shrinky Dinks. Hang on. I'm trying to make some, I'm trying to make a, I'm trying to make something that looks like the unicorn horn with the ears. That may look more like what I'm wanting it to look like. So I want to make these little charms to go on the end of the bookmarks that dangle out of the um, that dangle out of the end of your book. Does that look like a thing? Does that look like a unicorn horn? Is that something that's happening now? I don't know. Let me see if I can trace these out. Okay, I may have to trace down. I don't know. So my sister and I used to make shrinky dinks. My sister, I remember having the Smurf ones, like back when Smurfs were a thing. I wonder if you can even see this, what I'm doing here. You know what, I'm gonna cut the edge off this because it's not doing anything anyway. So here, hang on, hang out with me for a minute. Ah. So, um, let me see. But it's pre-cal homework. Ah, oh my gosh. <laughs> I need a mocha. Evie, it is too late at night to be drinking mochas. Uh-oh. I'm like, I'm making a mess. Y'all, I probably, why do people let me have sharp objects? Okay, I'm just going to throw that down there. Hmm. Yes, good job. Okay, no, I think I got, no, look, I'm on top of this now. So, and who was saying, somebody was saying on one of my Facebook posts that they used to have 
um, like printer sheets, like sheets of this that was like oh, cardstock weight, kind of like this. Excuse me. But that you could feed through the printer, which would mean then you could download um, images off the internet and make like, you know, licensed characters. You can't sell those on Etsy or anything like that. Um, I'm only doing my own drawings on here. But if you're doing this for your own personal use, um, you can do licensed characters and you could print something online and do that. Um, so that would be a fun. So, okay, now we can look down here. Now we can see what I'm doing. Come here. Come here. That's okay. Come here. Okay. Oh, my God. Loki came over here because <laughs> that's how I say come here to Loki. <laughs> Loki's like, I'm coming. Okay. Where is the black permanent marker? Is this the black one? Ultra fine point. Tuxedo black. Okay. Okay. There was another one in here. Sharpie. Oh, and I need to find my colors, too. Hot aqua. Get out. I'm fishing out some colors. Y'all settle down. Look at what we're doing here. I need some purples to choose from. And I need some. Oh, that's a dry erase. That's a dry erase marker. Get out of here. Um, I also need some pale green or some like light green. That's my unicorn and centaur colors. Okay, ooh, here's a nice looking. There's a nice looking color right here. All right. I'm going to pull out the dry erase marker because reasons. Okay, I feel like I have an assortment over there. Where did that other black Sharpie go, though? Like, I'm not crazy. Well, I am crazy, but I'm not crazy. That is another dry erase marker. What are you doing here? All right. Am I missing the Sharpie? Are you guys seeing like a, cause there's all the, I'll be like, ooh, there's a black marker, but no, that's a red marker. And then, oh, there it is. No, that's a gray marker. I do have a black one. There it is. Oh, the black Sharpie. Okay, so, which one do I want? I'll try both. There we go. I'll try both, one on each thing, and we'll see which one we like best. Okay. So, oh, Bud's here. Hey. Yes, Bud, we're doing like a shrinky date. I mean, where is my original thing? Um, I did a drawing um, earlier. Liam and I sat down and did these at the table, and I did just a little flower. It was going to be a sun, but I wanted to have rounded things, and I wanted to see what the purple looked like. So it became a flower. And it's sort of offset because my oven has a terrible temperature. <laughs> There's a hot spot in my oven. <laughs> So what I have done is I'm trying to make a unicorn horn charm to go on bookmarks that I'm making. So I want it to look like a unicorn horn. So here's one unicorn horn and here's another design for a unicorn horn. And I want to see how they turn out once I shrink them up. So I've drawn out what I want. And um, you can also use like you can print out, use illustrations you already have or print out something online and um, color it yourself. So here's the big one. So let's, wait, I am actually going to put this down. Let's see if we can see what we're doing. I don't know if you can watch me. Don't believe me, just watch. Okay, is that not even, there we go. Okay. So this may actually be a little too thin to really be the line weight I want. But that's the fun of this craft tonight, you guys. I have not done this. The last time I did this, it was like a paint by numbers kind of thing where I I, I bought the thing in a store and it was all pre-made and they were all drawn on the thing already. All right. So I feel like a comic book artist, I'm inking. I'm inking my drawing. So it's a nice line weight at this size, but it's going to get smaller. I don't mind. So I wish I had an actual, I actually wish I had a bigger Sharpie. I don't know if I have one in my, in my studio. Okay, here we go. It's getting really fat. 
Loki, uh-uh, do not play with the cords, cat. Uh-uh, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Oh, no. Am I running out of ink? I might be. Uh, hang on. I have to switch Sharpies. Do, 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 do. Loki, quit it. I'm going to run that cat off. I swear. Scat. <laughs> the Orders is about werewolves. Ah. <clears throat> I don't think I've heard of that one. I'm going to have to check it out, Brittany. Thank you. Um, so hopefully there's not going to be, like, continuity problems here. Am I covering up what I'm doing? I sure am. Y'all, somebody tell me. Okay. So an, another idea, if you were not here for the beginning of the live stream, another idea I had to make these unicorn horn charms is to... Um, is to make them out of Sculpey or, you know, a uh, Super Sculpey or whatever it's called. I mean, I know that's a brand name. I can't remember the non-brand name of it. So I have never worked with that before, and I may bring in Scott or Liam since they work with it to help me. I've kind of messed up my line weights here just a little bit. Nobody panic. <laughs> you know, this one's doing weird things, too. I wonder if, after a while, this fine tip marker just doesn't like this. I need to make, like, one line drawing that I use. If I like this, I'll make, like, one master line drawing that I use, too. Um, uh, for all of them. The one I like the best. Okay, so there we go. That is the unicorn horn. It looks like an ice cream cone, <laughs> like a swirly, softy ice cream cone. <laughs> Hannah made it, yay! Hannah, I'm making shrinky dinks, and here is the first one. It's a unicorn horn, and I hope it looks like a unicorn horn once I get it all colored and I shrinky dink it down because it should end up being about this size. It should end up being about this size, um, in theory. So now I have to sketch the second unicorn horn design that I did, and I'm gonna color them both, and then we're gonna live our best lives, and we're gonna see um, if it ends up looking good. Uh, we're gonna hope. So I have two different designs here. Oh, God, I wish I had a better Sharpie. This is just not, this is not doing it for me. I'm starting to feel angry. And nobody wants that. All right, let me see, hang on. Time to do the horn. If you're just joining the live stream, welcome. Today, I'm Michelle from Unicorn and Centaur, and today I am making unicorn horn charms. Now, I'm going to use these charms on bookmarks that I'm making, but you could do unicorn charms, um, or you could do whatever you want. You don't have to do unicorns. I don't know you. You live your best life. Um, you could put them on, but once you get the charms, they can be backpack charms or, um, you know, hang them off your purse. You can make necklaces or earrings out of them. Um, okay. Hang on, everyone. See, I'm not sure how I want the mane to go. I'm kind of winging this, y'all. I'm winging this design. Okay, but I think I got that. And I do.
I'm doing this. I'm doing it. Okay, I think I've done it. I think that's it. Let me put the light on. So these are the designs that I have come up with to start, and I'm going to go ahead and color those in, and we can hang out and chit chat while I am coloring. What's that piece of paper have on it? It looks like a peacock. Which one? Uh, this one right here, um, or I had another one. Here's my little uh, unicorn drawing that I did. Or if it's my sketch pad, it's that. So there's my sketches. And uh, all right, so now I need colors. Okay, so. What do I want to do for, okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five unicorn horn things here. So let me do, one of them is this color. Let's do, then we need a light teal. We have a light and a jar. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's make that happen. Okay, why don't we do them all like this? There we go. Okay, we're going to do these colors. And we're going to do it in that. And actually, no, we're going to do it like this. Like this. I think that's the order we're going to do it in. That's it. There we go. Okay. And now Loki is scratching his nails on something. Okay. So when you are coloring this, but Loki, do you mind? Oh my God. Cat. It's a dry erase board that fell off the refrigerator. It has cardboard on the back, and he has found it and is in my closet kitchen. Loki. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> Bless him. He's ready for dinner. It is not dinner time yet. Okay, so when you are coloring these, if you take the ink, the colored ink, and touch the black ink, the outlines, it's gonna smear. And if you're using a lighter color, you're gonna have a bad time. So um, try your very hardest to make sure it stays all on the inside. So I don't know if you can watch me doing this, but I am going to, oh, that is very light. I don't know, I may want that darker. So I am taking the edge of my coloring, I'm taking my coloring to the very edge of the white space but I'm not going all the way to the edge. Like I can see a very, very thin white line between where I colored. Very, very thin white line. Okay. That's the green. See, that's so light. That's fine. I just want to see what it looks like. We're experimenting. I can make 500 of these and then take the best one. And then that's my template. That's what we're doing here. That's kind of how I make, as a former, the, well, former, I guess, as a theater, Loki, as a theater performer and someone who's worked backstage in various performances, making costumes and props and things like that, most of what you do is, and puppetry as well, um, a lot of what you do is creative problem solving. Um, you just got to figure out how you got to, you have an idea in your mind of what you want to work with, but it's nobody's made a template for it. So you have to make your own template. You have to make your own pattern. You have to try a couple of ways, make Muslim mock, muslin mock-ups, make practice ones. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid for it to look terrible. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to smear it. So yeah, that's my best advice is don't be afraid to make a bad one. Don't judge your art too hard. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Watching Descendants 3 because I'm still a child. I heard Descendants 3 is not as good as the other ones. I haven't seen them, but I love the concept, like the idea of the show. I think it's great, but I haven't watched it. Um, who does, Brittany, who are you talking about, uh, that didn't know how to talk to females correctly? 
All right, that doesn't even look like a different color. I am starting to feel disappointed with perma marker. I'm going to color this uh, next one with diff a different brand of markers. I may try to find just Sharpies. Because this, like, the ink is not right. This is making me angry. And nobody likes me when I'm angry. Nobody likes me when I'm angry. Nobody. But you know what? It's going to be so much smaller, too. I shouldn't judge it. Why am I judging it? I just gave y'all a speech about not judging the outcome. And here I am going, no, it's going to be terrible. Okay. Actually, that does come in looking darker. Look at that. I'm such a doofus. Okay. So here's what we've got now. Made a fly bonnet with a bandana and hot glue, and it looks so cute. Cute! There's um, a Facebook page that I follow um, that does um, fly bonnets, but they don't uh, crochet or knit. I can't remember. Ear me now, fly bonnets. Um, and they do ones, they make them out of uh, bandanas and stuff. And I had not seen that done before, and it's so cute. I love it. I love it when I see stuff that's like awesome and creative and I haven't seen it before and I'm like, oh my God, I never even thought of that. That is my favorite thing. Okay, I kind of like this color. It does not look anything like the, look how different the color is <laughs> from what is down here. Y'all, you can even see how different it is on camera. Holy moly macanoli. Y'all, this is insane. Oh, dude, on the order show, I'm watching. Oh, I see. I was like, oh my God, I had to scroll up. I was like, is there someone in the chat who's being rude? Because I will shut that down, y'all. This is not that kind of channel. We're not about talking rude to each other. Okay, that um, actually kind of looks cool. Now we're moving on to the last color. The last color. I'm not inspired by this color, but I wasn't by the other teal, and look how cute it turned out. Okay. Once we get this all, the coloring and the drawing are the most tedious parts. I feel like when we did the live stream about um, making the um, craft armor, uh, craft foam armor, the fake armor with out of craft foam, it, it took forever to draw out the patterns on the cardboard and cut out the cardboard patterns, and it just felt so tedious. If I do an armor live stream again, which I want to, I will probably have some pieces already drawn and cut out maybe, and so we could just sort of demonstrate that part. And then, so much of crafting is like, like not fascinating to watch though. Watching someone color something in, um, you know, letting a coat of paint or glue dry, <laughs> you know. And anyways, anybody else working on, you don't have to be like making this particular craft with me, but who is working on something creative tonight? Whether it is homework, like pre-calc, Or something creative. It's Wednesday. Is there a creative project getting you through to the end of the week? That was actually look more similar than I thought. I thought the teals were going to look more similar. That's kind of disappointing. Mm. I wonder if I do it again if I need to. I could put the two darker purple, like the darker purple, then the darker teal, then the medium purple, and the medium teal, and then the light green, maybe? I don't know. We'll see how it comes out of the oven. But now I need to pick colors for this thing. And I think I want to use Sharpie brand so that I keep everything. What there's is that? Which brand is this? Okay. Hang on, y'all. I'm gonna actually look through here for um, some Sharpie brand. Where's my, where my Sharpie's at? There's a yellow Sharpie. I don't care what color right now. I'm just pulling out the Sharpies. Here's an orange. There's a brown. There's another black Sharpie. All right, Sharpie. You don't have the best colors. There's a pink. 
sneak big. The bit might be okay. I'm going to take a bit color or two. You know what? Let's do purple. Ooh, here's like a dusty purple and a medium purple and a pale purple. So there's three different ones. What? Hmm. I wonder if pink would go inside the ears. Do we want to do that? Pink inside the ears? What if we did teal? Hmm. Green unicorn ears. Hang on, I'm trying to think of colors. I want to do green unicorn ears. Dang it, but I don't have the right green in. I guess I'll use these. Okay, so I'm going to use this green for the ears with this pink inside it. I know I said I was going to use Sharpie, but I don't have the right colors. <clears throat> so I'm going to do the big instead. So I'm going to use this inside the ears, and this is the ears. Then we're going to do a teal. Which teal? Then we're going to do teal and this color for the mane, maybe. Which we're calling hot aqua. Is that what this one is? Hot aqua. Okay. Um, and then do we need, then we want the purples. We'll do these purples for the horn. Huh. Maybe. All right. I'm thinking out loud here. Maybe I have too many colors. I don't know, you guys. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do this. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, hey, it's uh, um, our um, recording server tower. Willow is here. Hannah Animals, planning on making YouTube video on giving Barrel Horse an English makeover. Cute, that's a great idea. So I'm gonna use the fly bonnet and a saddle pad I'm working on. Cute. Oh, and looking pretty as always. Thank you. Oh, Evie, have to go watch again in the morning. Evie, girl, I love you so much. Yes, thank you for being here. Um, and, uh, yeah, I forgot to say I'm back from the dead. <laughs> you know, we all go in and out of social media. And, you know, there are times you have to take a break for whatever reason or another. And, again, coloring in these, I am staying away from the black lines and taking extra care that I do not touch any of the black ink because it will smear into that pink and I will be so sad. Okay, this actually takes coloring for a little bit before it actually looks like something, like a color. Did y'all see how long I had to work that, that pink to get that color pink? So, oh, good night, Brittany. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to do the other ear. I confess, I'm not the best with picking out colors and figuring out what colors go with what and where. I'm really just not the best at that. I feel like I'll pick out colors that look great, and then on whatever project it is, I'm, it, the end product is like, and then I'm going, aw, I hate everything. Okay, so I was going to do green for the ears as though it's like a, it is a green unicorn. Again, I don't even know if I'll like this, but I can make a bunch of them. I'm going to save these drawings that I did, the originals. So if I like the way the charm comes out, but I hate the colors, I can make another one and just change the colors around and see, just experiment until I get something I like. That's going to work with whatever, with my unicorn bookmark. Okay, next one, next year. That is a little bit more of a neon green than I was expecting. Ah, did that. There we go. So I'm trying to learn how to draw. I was wondering if you could teach me way, the ways your shrinky dinks look really good so far. Um, I'm, I don't know if I am qualified to teach drawing. I just draw things. I feel like I'm a really not good drawer. I don't know if that, is that not, did I say that wrong? Um, and when it looks good, I'm like, oh my gosh, what just happened? <laughs> so I am actually going to do the darker color underneath. 
and then the lighter color up top like it's a highlight. So this is a pretty color. Oh, I wonder if I just do it like shadows. You know what? I'm just gonna, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is probably, I can't, I'm not, I'm getting so lost in the coloring and what I'm doing. I'm not even bothering to check in with the lot, with like the camera. So this could be like the worst angle, the worst live stream ever. <laughs> and I would never know because I'm not even paying attention. Okay. Let me see what that looks like interspersed with some of this lighter blue. So, oh, this looks like, what is this? Fine point, permanent marker. This is a thicker and it looks kind of metallic. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, I can't get down into the point with that. This is not lighter like I thought. This is just like a metallic. This is way different than I expected. Wow, oh my God, and I overlapped, I overlapped. Don't panic, everybody, it's gonna be okay. Why is there so much ink coming out? It's not like, I don't know. Marker, what are you even doing to me? It's like painting. You can't go back and forth like you do with the others, like you color the others like a colored pencil. That is weird. Thick marking. Sapphire. Like, what are you even doing, sapphire? But now that looks weird. That doesn't look right. That doesn't look like I was hoping. It's different than I was hoping. And this is bothering me. It's already bothering me and it's not even out of the thing yet. I told myself not to judge it and look at me judging it. One, two, three, four, five, six of the things here. I'm not using that kind of marker. Didn't I have another purple marker that I could use? Do you have another purple one? Okay. So, this is too many colors. I'm already hating this. Y'all, I'm judging my work so hard right now. That looks pink. Why is it like this? Let's see what that Sharpie looks like. So, oh, you, it looks good on camera? Okay, I'm not enjoying it, but I'd like to do a couple of different ones. I tend to like very simple styles. Although when other people make really creative, uh, colorful looks, like with tons of colors, I love it. And I'm like, oh, I want to do that. And then I can't somehow. Like I try to do it and it just looks god awful. Is this even a thing? Polynesian purple? What is wrong with you? Polynesian purple almost did not want to come out and play, y'all. Okay, there we go, we got something out of it. Actually, that doesn't look too bad, but um, I've got three more. Let's just do the sequence again, why not? Let's see what that looks like. You know, now that I'm, I'm wondering if I could shade things a little bit, like if I took two colors together and shaded them together. Would it look okay? We still haven't gotten to the shrinking of the shrinky ink part, and that is the fun part. Oh my God, I just totally burped. Excuse me. Okay, and then the lightest one up here. Oh, Liam's in the chat. What's up, fam? Liam. Okay. Liam, you missed Evie. She was here. Um, let's see who else is here right now. Michelle, don't work. Everything is going to be okay. <laughs> um, okay. So just looked at the time, 1040. Yeah, it's 1045 here. 
not the worst live stream ever. I think the worst live stream ever that we did was the one where we tried to make the silicone unicorn horns and I needed a caulk gun and I didn't know it because I'd never used those before. And I sent Liam next door to the neighbors and it was just terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. Right, being, being a weave because I'm here. Doth Liam. Yes, Liam. Um, but I don't know. I'm sure Liam remembers you. Liam has a pretty good memory. All right, I'm ready to cut these up. Look, those look kind of fun. I don't know. I'm ready to cut these out. So when we are cutting out, I'm gonna leave that there. And I'm gonna cut one at a time. So when we're cutting them out, first of all, you don't cut all the way up to the line. You leave a little bit of the clear around the edge. So um, I'm going to take it, be very careful because the way the plastic is, if you try to get into these corners, you can tear your, and I'm doing it. I told you guys not to do it and I'm doing it, okay. Okay, hang on. Okay, here I, and you also don't want sharp edges. That's why I'm not doing like a sharp unicorn horn because once this goes down, um, once this uh, shrinks up in the oven, um, any points that were kind of sharp on it are gonna be really, really sharp. Okay. So. And I'm trying not to touch because I think I can smear the ink. I'm pretty sure I can smear this ink. So I have cut around most of it and you'll see I don't have in all of it. I'm gonna get more um, on it in just a second. I'm gonna get the other side, which is, there we go. Do that, that. I need to get a little more in here. There we go. Good, 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 good. Okay, so cleaning up all the edges. Okay. Almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there, you guys. It's looking good. Ta -da! So now I have cut all around it and you can see there's a very, very thin uh, clear layer around it. Okay. Um, it's only 7.48 where you are. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I can take a nap at any time, day or night. A nighttime nap. That's called sleeping, Michelle. Good job. Okay, so now I have left a little bump on the end, and that bump is for a hole. So I've got my little hole punch here. I'm going to center it over where I want and do the punching. So there we go. I have put a little hole in the end of this. So that's going to be what I can put a little metal ring through or I can just um, knit the yarn through it. So this is ready to go in the oven. Dee, 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 dee. Oh my gosh. So I'm putting it in my pan that I've got over here. Okay. Let's get the other one cut out. So, oh, gotta go. Good night, wonderful equestrians and mythical monsters. Ah, oh, Willow, so good to hear from you again. All right, I'm going to cut around here. So now I'm cutting out this one. I don't know where I'm going to put, I guess I'll put the hole right there at the bottom. You know, when the light catches that just right, it was light. All right, I gotta figure out my colors. Loki, what did I tell you about playing with the cords? That's not for kitties. What do you do? No, he is batting at my legs. He is really, really positive that it is dinner time, which it is not quite yet. Okay. 
He's incorrect. He can't tell time. At least I don't think he can. Loki's pretty smart, though. Okay. So around the ears, those could be pretty pointy. I'm actually going to just kind of like round it off, kind of round it off. I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be sharp. Okay. So we're cutting away more and more of my little unicorn friend here. My little unicorn frond. Loki, the Marvel character. Yes, I have a cat named Loki. I also have a cat named Odin. <laughs> I am. Um, we're silly. And of course, I, uh, I'm i not a Marvel. I'm not a superhero or a Marvel fan, really. Um, so to me, they're not named after those characters. They're named after the Norse gods themselves. But to Scott and Liam, it's because of superhero Marvel, Marvel stuff, Marvel things. Okay, I have to figure out how to get in there somehow. I have made this pointy mane and now I'm like, oh, I can't have any points on here. I'm dumb, I'm so dumb y'all. I need to figure out a different way to draw that mane. It's not satisfying me. It's not sparking joy. I'm gonna. Okay, that might do it, that might do it, but now I have to do this part. Oh my God, did I just ruin it? Loki is pacing up and down the house. If he wore a wristwatch, he would be looking at it impatiently right now. If I had a manager, he'd want to speak to her. Loki, I got some new cat food today at Target. Are you ready? Are you ready for it, buddy? I don't know. It's some kind of, I don't even know, turkey and chicken something or other. Okay, I think I've done it, y'all. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, so. That's this one. See, it looks dark in some ways. There's dark and there's light. I don't know. We'll see how this one turns out. I need to put a hole in it though. So let's just put a hole right here in the middle. Okay, there we go. So I've got a little hole in the middle of that. Now we're gonna put this one down here too. I've got to figure out how to get you guys and look, quit it. Get out of the cord. Cat. By the way, if you missed me pouring this in this little wine glass, which I'm like, oh, it's like, you know, six, eight ounce wine glass or whatever. An entire can of Diet Dr. Pepper fit in this wine glass. Oh my gosh. And now it's inside me. Aye. Okay, so I have these two things that I'm going to put in the oven. So let me see if I can get you guys there. Eat the cat food for views. Get out of here. You're the only one that's crazy enough to do that. Okay. You're not dumb. Everyone's smart in their own way. Oh, thank you. Okay, so excuse the view for just a second. I don't even know. Oh, my God. There's plastic all over the floor. All right, hang on. Let me take this down. Okay, now we're lower. If I bring you guys over here to my oven. Can we see inside the oven? Okay. We can't wait. Okay. I wonder, see. Uh, hmm, hmm. I'll have to bring it in close, like really fast. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Okay, there's my dirty oven. Oh my God, you can even see where the drawer is not completely down. So the drawer is not on track and we can't figure it out. So let me get these as close to the back as I can. And I'm gonna put it down here. Are you guys ready? I hope everybody's ready. Here we go. Here's the money. So in we go. 
Boom. And then I'm bringing you in. Can you even see? Oh, my gosh. Can you see them in there? They're starting to curl up. There they go. There they go. There they go. Oh, my gosh. They are, like, writhing. Okay, it's almost time to get them out. Hang on, everybody. Back up, back up, back up. I think that's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> no, don't stick together. No. Wait, everyone, wait. Oh, shoot. I did it. I didn't have an oven mitt. Dang it. No, I didn't ruin it. It's still good. It's still good. Okay, everyone. We did it. Hang on. Hang on. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. I forgot to get an oven mitt. It was almost tragic, but not quite. Okay. So. They fell on the ground and stuck together, but look how teeny tiny it is now. Okay. And then the little teeny tiny thing, it curled up. Now see, when they're stuck together, I messed it up on this side. So here's the side that's not messed up. So there you go. That's what the little unicorn horn one looks like. On the back here is where they stuck together. And the purple ink from the other one stuck to the back of the unicorn horn. <laughs> Big fail. I don't like the green on the ears. We're going to have to figure something else for that. Not sure about the unicorn. The mane looks okay. That green doesn't work. I'm gonna have to work on a color scheme. Maybe I can work on the color scheme. Um, this, you know what, this horn looks too big for, I can work on the color scheme on paper. The horn looks too big for one of these. Yeah. Unless I added some, like, a little tassel for a forelock, I feel like it really does. It needs this design. These colors, maybe. Let's see here. This is a better size for it. Yeah, and it's getting with the tail on the end. See, that's kind of cute. It's definitely going to need the ears and the forelock. I just have to figure out a design. That looks the way I want it to look. I'm going to work on that, you guys. I guess I'll have to work on that for the next one. So for the next live stream, I think what I'm going to do is, well, I mean, I'll work on um, different ones and I'll post them on Instagram, but I need to work on a design kind of like this, but I need to change the forelock and the colors just did not work. This just ends up looking like some sort of grub you dig up in your backyard. Uh, it would have to be a little bit smaller. Maybe I can just make one a little bit smaller and see how that looks. I don't know. I wonder if I could do a sideways one that looks like the horn with the forelock and maybe two ears and then attach the thing. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I'm going to work on it. Thank you to everyone. Um, Evil Gallon. Oh, um, hello. Hello. Liam, how dare you mess it up? I know. <laughs> uh, anybody do spells? Um, I haven't done one in a long time. Um, yeah. Have you no oven mitts, bud? I do, but I thought earlier when Liam and I did it, we pulled it out with an oven mitt, but it was cool almost immediately. So dumb me. I'm like, well, I can just pull it right out of the oven. No, I sure can't. We learned today, didn't we? Um, I haven't done spells before. Um, there is um, um, Evil Gallon. I don't know if I'm even saying that right. Um, one of my favorite witchy channels is Arziana Everdark. A-R-Z-R-Z-A-R-Z-I-A-N-A, -A, I think. And then Everdark. She does a lot of um, spells um, on her channel, which are really cool. Liam, quit doing the whatever. <laughs> I'm going to show Liam just playing around. That's Liam just playing around on his... Uh, device in there. Okay, so I have my work cut out for me. I've got to complete the design. I like this little design best, but I hate the colors on it. And of course I messed it up. So 
um, I'll figure that out for next time. Thank you guys for joining me next week. Um, the acoustics will be better uh, next week because my birthday was last week. And one of the things I got for my birthday um, were two lavalier microphones. So Adriana and I are going to have microphones for the next tech chat. Yay. Um, but that will be the live stream next Wednesday night at 10 p.m. So please join me for that. I do live streams every single Wednesday night. We are either making things that are equestrian or unicorn themed, or we're making stuff for literally for our horses. So um, that's that. So anyway, thank you everyone who showed up in the chat today. I love you guys so much. And it was fun chatting with you guys all. And I will see you next week. Or all, if you can't handle waiting until next week for the next live stream, there's going to be another video on Sunday. So subscribe to the channel and all that kind of stuff. All right, I'm going to end my live stream now. Thank you guys so much and love ya.